Hi, I'm Bentley Dean, co-director and cinematographer for the film Tanner. In 2014, I took my family to the island of Tanner in Vanuatu to live with the tribe of Yakel. People there still hunt with bows and arrows and make their clothes and houses entirely from materials gathered in the surrounding jungle. The days begin with the rising sun and end with the kava ceremony at sunset. It's a life that's all but disappeared in modern times. When we arrived, they'd never seen a feature film before. The seven months we lived together, exchanging food, stories, ceremonies, laughter, pain and adventures. My young children play with theirs, learning their language and way of life. One day, the men sung a deeply moving song about two lovers who dared defy the ancient laws of arranged marriage some 20 years earlier. They said the young lover's story changed the course of custom. We knew then that this would be our film. Tana is a cinematic translation of that song, which is, at its heart, a story of the universally transformative power of love. Suddenly, the people of Yakel were actors in their own story. The chief of Yakel would play the chief of Yakel, Chief Charlie. The medicine man would play the medicine man, and so on. Mari, who plays Wawa, was one of a kind. Every other girl we auditioned could barely look Mungo in the eye, light years from the feisty teenager the film called for. But the instant we saw Mari, we knew that she was the one, stunning with an infectious laugh and great emotional depth in her eyes. We shot Tana on a tiny crew, myself on camera and Martin on sound, that's it. The story and dialogue were developed through workshopping and improvisation on location. At the start of filming each scene, we'd ask everyone what would happen in real life. Essential lines were hit, but we always left room for spontaneous performances. We began filming rehearsals to get ourselves and the actors used to working with the camera. Amazingly, that very first rehearsal is in the final film. It's a scene where Chief Charlie teaches a peace song to the men of Yakel, and I remember feeling goosebumps as I began capturing this extraordinary nuanced performance. We decided then that there would be no rehearsals. We'd shoot for real. On set, we teased each other a lot and there was much laughter. It's our view that this embedded and intimate filmmaking style is probably the only way this film could have been made. We promised everyone that they would be the first in the world to see Tanner. But a few weeks before the scheduled screening, Cyclone Pam devastated Vanuatu, and Yakel was not spared. Every house, except a specially built traditional cyclone proof hut, was destroyed. Thankfully, no one was killed. Incredibly, they insisted we come to show the film as planned. When we arrived, spirits were high as they erected a screen we'd brought two white sheets sewn together lashed to a massive bunion tree that had survived the winds. Tribes from all directions came to watch. It was an unforgettable experience. None there had ever been to a cinema. It was their first and it starred them in their own language, telling their own story. There were whoops of joy and laughter, tut-tuts when the lovers did the wrong thing, teenage boys sniggering during the love scenes while young girls at the front would tell them to be quiet. The following day, after much internal discussion, the Chiefs gave us what will be our best review. They said, we know you came here with your equipment and your idea to make a film, but we want to inform you that we consider this our film. They said the film reflected the truth and would help keep custom strong. They gave us a chicken and a sacred carver root. It turned out that the good people at the Venice Film Festival also liked it. In its world premiere, Tanner won the Critics Week Audience Award and Best Cinematography. We took five of the people of Yakel to Venice with us and they had an incredible time. 
They wore their traditional clothing on the red carpet and the photographers went nuts. They broke into dance and song in the Q&A after the film was received with thunderous applause. Wherever they went in Venice, they received happiness in their wake. This was their first time overseas for all of them bar one. We all wanted to know what they thought of the modern world. Lingai, Wawa's father in the film said, here they have a lot of buildings and a lot of food and it's very beautiful but you also need a lot of money to buy this food and live in these buildings and to get all that money you have to work very hard all the time. Where I live, my house is small but I go to the gardens or to the forest and the river and I have everything I need. If anyone fears that these budding actors would be seduced by a life of stardom and world travel, they can rest assured. The people of Yakel know the life they want to protect. Working with the people of Yakel has been one of the most rewarding experiences of our creative lives. <laughs>